This is code.org, and we are noticing what, I guess, what do you notice about the way this is written? Uh, well, it's spaced out a lot. I might actually zoom out, guys. It's spaced out a lot. Uh, is it easier to read than the previous one? Yeah, the previous one was a block of mess, right? It's spaced out nicely. There's also these multi-line comments, or just comments at points. And remember, comments are ignored by a computer. The computer pretends like that is a blank line. They're to help humans understand what is going on in an application, or to even leave notes for yourself. Sometimes I'll be working on something, and I'm like, am I going to remember tomorrow where I was? And I'll throw a comment like, you stopped here, which apparently that says nothing. But you get what I mean. So... They give us information about the program. It's nicely spaced. It's easy to read. Oh, what is the purpose? We just hit that. This is a single comment right at the end. Now, these are comment blocks. You could put a thousand lines here if you wanted, and the computer ignores it all. So that way, you don't have to put slash in front of every line if you don't want to, if you want a multi-line comment. Are there, are there, are they displayed in the console? No, so these won't be displayed. It's some standard practice, sometimes standard practice and different um, programming methodologies to use comments at the start of a class or the start of a method, things of this nature. There's also arguments for self-commenting code, but honestly, starting out comments are super helpful. And we'll get to see how we can use them as we move through this. But basically, this is a multi-line comment. And just so you know, it's nice to have that extra star there. This works just fine. The only thing that's required here is that and that for a multi-line comment. And then this could be a single line comment or at the end of the line. Either way, computer ignores it. All right. Comment, comment, comment. Onward.